Ahoy there sailors! If you're new to my channel, it's Jamie here. Welcome and please do subscribe. And if you know me already, it's still Jamie and welcome home to you. So here's my tour and review of Virgin Voyages Scarlet Lady on my recent cruise from Portsmouth UK. A ship that has definitely caused a stir in the cruise blogger world with people even being verbally shamed online over reviews they posted. I kid you not. Is she the future of cruising or a damp squid? I mean squib. Whatever you think, make sure you watch to the end to see what might well go down in history as one of the best shows ever at sea. Don't miss it. The Aquatic Club Oasis on Deck 15 was one of my favourite places to kick back and relax with chilled music played daily, cocktails on hand and a heated, if not very small pool. One of the main drawbacks of this ship in my opinion. Some bloggers have moaned at those of us bringing this up, but actually it's a valid point if you enjoy pool life and a swim. So please stop moaning about valid critique and blessings to you in your pursuit of endless freebies. Imagine going for a number one or two, or one and two, with that view. Awesome. At the aft on deck 16, you too can lie on the suspended catamaran net 200 feet above sea level. No, really, you'll love it, honestly. The Virgin Way on board Scarlet Lady is definitely a cheeky nod to staying youthful, with many toys for adults, and no, I'm not referring to that little black box in cabins, I'm talking about the games and activities out on deck. There's also a sense of self-care and mindfulness on board, juxtaposed with really letting your hair down in the evenings if you so wish. It's actually a really fine line, but a balance that worked really well on board, and I feel there's something for everyone on Scarlet Lady. And just look at the views from that jogging track. Did I jog? Hell no. One of the great things about Scarlet Lady is that when the sun sets, you can chill until your heart's content or you can party hard. The choice is absolutely yours. There's something for everybody. If you hadn't realised, Scarlet Lady is an adult by design ship, meaning you've got to have reached that milestone of 18 to board. I'm not entirely sure I fit into the market Virgin are looking for either at my ripe old age, but on a diet of air and mung beans over the years, my youthful looks helped me sail through the is he too old for us test. I mean, Richard Branson made it. I must show you one of my all time favourite bars on any ship out there, the dock on deck seven, an outdoor Metze style eatery, bar and lounge, only with the most fantastic views. It was without doubt one of my all time favourite happy places on any ship. I love the vibe, the drinks, sunsets and the service here. What do you think? Now, whilst you're enjoying some of the views from the dock, here are some important facts for you. Scarlet Lady is operated by Virgin Voyages, in case you hadn't realised, and is the inaugural cruise ship for the cruise line. Scarlet Lady is 909 feet in length, has 17 decks, 13 of which are passenger decks, and has capacity for 2,770 guests and 1,160 crew. Is that nice? Included in your cruise fare, charge per cabin, is Wi-Fi, which incidentally worked a treat for me most of the time, all gratuities, group workouts such as yoga, meditation and cycling, basic beverages, for example water, including that sparkly stuff, non-pressed juices, i.e. the nasty sugary stuff, sodas, teas and drip coffee, as in the cremated stuff, plus all your food with the odd supplement. On the subject of food and drink, there are over 20 eateries and bars to enjoy, so you'll never get tired of the offer of diverse menus from Korean barbecues to Mexican street food and catering for all dietary requirements. There's even a 24-hour diner serving all day and night breakfasts. 
In fact, since most Virgin Cruises are four or five nights, you'll struggle to fit all the restaurants in and will definitely need to come back again, or at least that's my plan. There are no traditional dining rooms here either. You can use the Virgin Voyages app prior to boarding and whilst on board to book your tables. Razzle Dazzle is a mostly vegetarian restaurant serving brunches, lunches and dinner. The apple cruffin, by the way, a cross between a croissant and a muffin, come highly recommended. Good pizza at the pizza place, although the dough could be a little bit thinner. The aptly named Lick Me Till Ice Cream, very subtle. Live, breathe, laugh and love. Sounds like the perfect recipe to me. And look at the love right there. And please, for the love of God, as you make your way into the Manor nightclub, don't walk into a pane of glass like I did. Although, in my defence, I'd had a few vinos. Karaoke rooms at the Groupie are offered on a first come, first served basis, and there's no chance to use these. We had great fun. And now, time for an extended clip of our evening at Gumbe. Enjoy. Hi, how are you? I'm great, thank you. How are you? Yeah, great. Yay, we've arrived. This lady's. Oh, this lady's amazing. Oh, fantastic. Thank you. Look, the most awesome looking menu ever. So, this is a, a Korean spirit? Yes. Awesome. Two, four, five, seven. We're playing eight. a drinking game. No. Hey. I thought I won that two nine. No, you didn't. Nine? Oh, I want to listen. Do I have to drink? Yes. Oh, awesome. What all of it? Yes, you should get it. Oh, oh. Oh. Gumbay! Right. If you hadn't guessed already and you're looking for a very lively venue for dinner, Gumbay, the Korean barbecue, is the place. So that's the Gumbe experience, but here's something else that's also different on Scarlet Lady. There's no buffet, rather a food court called the galley with a wide range of eateries and table service. If you want dishes from different eateries in the food court, they'll be all brought to your table. It's an excellent concept and a fabulous social space too. A huge win in my opinion. Here's the 24 hour breakfast I was telling you about. It's real. There's also a grab and go section and you can help yourself to hot and cold drinks throughout the day. By the way, the pork ramen was absolutely outstanding. The Dock House is a really chilled venue by day, serving a wide variety of drinks and Mediterranean fare. It also has a juice bar. 
On the odd night, however, this turns into a party zone with disco all the way. And make sure you bring and wear something red for Scarlet Night. Is that, nice? Is that nice? Oh my god, they've still got it, haven't they? Bless them. Whoop, careful, Paul. And look, even the ocean joins in on Scarlet Night. And here's a peep at the roundabout, which is Scarlet Lady's atrium. And at the bottom of the atrium, you have On The Rocks Jazz Bar. The Loose Cannon is a beautifully themed nautical bar and home to many of the quizzes on board. It is quite small, so I would recommend getting there early if you want to play along. On this particular cruise, I paid $70 for use of the Redemption Spa from 8 in the morning until 10 at night. You can also purchase a clay mask to use in the mudroom. Yes, they have a mudroom. The onboard gym is a great place to go if you just want to look at the ocean or maybe do some exercise, whatever that is. Sailor Services is the new take on, well, a reception. And for all the events on board, check the screens which are placed strategically around the ship. If I were you, I would also take a picture of these on your phone. You too can hemorrhage as much money as you have here at the High Street. Lucky you. A small tattoo will set you back an eye-watering $140. Ouch! And if you've had enough of the drip coffee, that is complimentary, come along to the Grounds Club where you can spend a little bit extra but for a really good quality coffee. The Social Club Diner and Bar even has a retro arcade tucked around the corner. Alcoholic beverages on board were reasonably priced in my opinion, all prices inclusive of tips for the crew as well. A beer was priced at $5, for example, 42% of wines on board served by the glass came in at under $10, although I would like a wider range of New World wines on board, if I'm honest, and cocktails start at around $9. The Red Room is a multi-purpose space used for late night clubs, discos, and some incredible shows. Here, Jewel Reality, this is a show like no other at sea and has to be seen to be believed, trust me.
Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you want to have a look at a sea view terrace cabin. And not to mention the now infamous solo insider cabins. So is Virgin Voyages the future of cruising? Well, yes and no. Yes, in terms of the my cruise, my way vibe going on, the vast food options, the lack of crowded inside spaces, but no, in terms of that pool deck and the Ikea style cabins that don't quite scream super yacht. Let's see if Resilient Lady and Valiant Lady, Virgin's next cruise ships can put that right. And please don't forget to follow Travel Blog Jamie on Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube.